Let's look at techniques to help students learn about unitizing and flexibility in thinking about fractions. We're using free online visual tools from Conceptua Math. This is the Unitizing with Pattern Blocks tool. And I'll demonstrate how to use this effectively in a 5 to 15 minute class discussion. First of all, let's talk about setup. When you're using the Pattern Blocks tool, you have an opportunity to choose from a variety of templates which we've pre-made and you can populate the active area with a template. There's also techniques to make your own template. Now at that point you have an important thing to do and that's to decide what the unit is going to be. How much does this represent? I'll begin with the most basic unit where this represents one. When I lock that in place the template's ready to use. Now when you're carrying on a class discussion with this unit as one, realize that it's divided into 3, 6, 12, 18 equal parts that are all triangular shaped. And that's what you'd expect in a pattern blocks activity. When you colorize it, you, if you're as the teacher, or if you're controlling the colorization, you have an opportunity to scaffold the experience and start with something that's very simple. For instance, here I've shaded one-third, two-thirds, two-thirds yellow, and one-third red. It's clear and it's intuitive. And if you're looking at developing this intuition in the students, well, you could have an initial class conversation about these values. Then you can move the pedagogical expectations up a notch. Pull this color out. And now we're looking at two-thirds, one-sixth, and another sixth. You can have the students come up to the board and you can create constraints and say you have the opportunity to colorize this section more but you have to leave these two the same. You can create the rule set that works for you to bring your students along to understand more and more about fractions. Now the game changes significantly when you change the unit. I unlock and then enter three. 3 over 1. Now you don't have to do this by entering numbers here because you're here with the class and you can simply tell them that my rule is that this now equals 3. So how does that change the fractional thinking? Well if this is 3, then that yellow portion equals 1. And here we have 2. And the red is now 1. Yellow equals 2, red equals 1. And if I color blue in this area as I did before, then we have half red, half blue, and two yellow. So you can see that there's two places where there's a great deal of influence. The colors here and the unit that's determined here. That's your choice. What are the students going to do next? They may be working in workbooks, they may be working with pattern blocks, they may be working with conceptual fraction software. This is an opener, an introductory discussion to encourage understanding and unitizing and flexibility in thinking with fractions.